hi all today i am going to teach you the energy storage system that is also known as batteries introduction to the batteries under this headline what are the different components present in the battery how the battery works what are the examples and how to classify the batteries these are the few things we are going to uh, cover today in this class so basically a battery is a portable energy source it's like a source of energy the various kinds of energy we have among those the battery is also one of the energy source with the four basic components that means it involves the four most important components in it they are an anode that is a negative part of the battery the secondly a cathode that is a positive part of the battery an electrolyte the third component and finally the fourth most important is a separator so these are the four basic components of the battery the term battery originally implied a group of cells in a series or parallel arrangement but now it is a single either a single cell or a group of cells that means here basically the chemist thought that the batteries means a group of cells a number of cells uh, grouped in a series manner or a parallel arrangement and make them as a batteries but now that definition that concept will not work out because even a single cell can also produce the energy that is why uh, a single cell a group of cells is the meaning of a battery now the size of the battery ranges from centimeter cube to the decimeter cube that means the size is vary a smaller uh, uh, battery we have that way we can see in uh, uh, digital watches or uh, clocks and other things and also at the same time we can have a uh, bigger batteries so that is uh, we can see in our uh, vehicles motor vehicles so and therefore the size of the batteries ranges from centimeter cube to the decimeter cube the batteries are of great importance based on the ability of some electrochemical systems to store the electrical energy supplied by the external source so these are the great importance the batteries because of their conversion of chemical energy into electrical energy and we can store some of the electrical energy so due to this uh, we can uh, call them as a uh, important materials useful materials such batteries may be used for emergency power supplies or driving electric vehicles etc and finally we can define the batteries as that is the definition of a battery a battery is an electrochemical cell it consists of one or more galvanic cells connected in series or parallel connection it converts chemical energy into electrical energy during discharge and charging this is what the definition of a battery so it is a kind of electrochemicals we will have large number of electrochemicals like such as a galvanic cells so the galvanic cells are connected in a series or a parallel connection and uh, they produces electrical energy from the chemical reactions the chemical reactions are two oxidation reaction and reduction reaction so here the next question is how the batteries works what is inside the batteries how the conversion of the energy occurs that is how chemical energy or the chemical reaction gets converted into electrical energy we can have this uh, picture here where the various components of the battery shown in this uh, picture so negative part of the battery is called anode positive part of the battery is called cathode here we have a electrode electrolyte and a separator we have and we can see the movement of the ions in an electrolyte so here inside the electrolyte the ions are moving and we will observe here the electrons are moving from anode to the cathode anode to the here see the arrow mark this is a negative part anode and from this side all the electrons see the arrow mark here all the electrons are moved towards the cathode due to the movement of these electro electrons the current causes so we can have this uh, animated picture of the uh, battery works how the battery works we can see here this is the negative uh, positive part this is the negative part from this side to this side electrons are flowing this is anode this is cathode see here how see the arrow mark here during the 
discharge how it is going on and during charging how it is going on from this we can clearly says that due to the movement of the electrons the current causes that is conversion of electrical energy sorry chemical energy to electrical energy happens now coming to the next headline classification of a battery how do you classify the battery what are the different kinds of battery we have basically batteries are classified into three types they are primary batteries also known as non rechargeable battery i'll explain one by one after this we have second type secondary batteries are rechargeable batteries we have the third type reserve batteries it is a special kind of a primary battery so primary batteries explanation now coming to this explanation why these primary batteries are called non rechargeable on what basis they works what is the principle so the principle is that here for the primary batteries the batteries which produce electrical energy at the expense of free energy of the active materials and produce energy only as long as active materials are present they are called as primary batteries and these are non rechargeable batteries and are to be discarded after the use the cell reaction is to be is said to be irreversible example we have very old batteries dry cell and second example zinc air so here this is the zinc air battery we do not have this syllabus only uh, definition of a primary battery with example is more than enough no need to worry about this construction so we, this is the zinc air battery animated picture coming to the secondary batteries the rechargeable batteries that produce electrical energy at the expense of free energy of the active materials are called secondary batteries these active materials are capable of restoring at respective electrodes on recharge and prepare for discharge once again the cell reaction is said to be reversible example we have the lead acid battery nickel metal hydride battery lithium ion battery this is a lead acid battery uh, animated picture of the lead acid battery how the anode and cathode are made up of how the ions are moving inside the electrolyte the sulfate ions and the hydrogen ions that is from the sulfuric acid that is why it's called lead acid battery so this also we do not have in the syllabus only definition of the secondary battery with example is nf coming to the reserve batteries as i already said it is a kind of special batteries that is a primary batteries so they, they these are also not the uh, rechargeable this is also non rechargeable batteries but they are having very high energy the high energy batteries in which active materials are isolated from the battery due to their high reactivity and are brought into contact whenever high energy is required for application they are called reserve batteries example magnesium water activated batteries zinc silver oxide batteries this is a zinc silver oxide battery so the diagram is not required only the definition and the example is enough coming to the first example the five star question 1 2 3 4 5 the most important uh, question for the vto as well as the internal examinations so nickel metal hydride battery abbreviated as nimh nimh so this can be explained under four different headlines the first headline number 1 composition means what it contains so anode metal is made up of what cathode metal is made up of what which is the electrolyte uh, what is the power output of this so all coming under the composition of a battery reactive species at anode is metal hydride mh m stands for metal h stands for hydride reactive species at cathode NiOOH nickel oxy hydroxide electrolyte 6 molar potassium hydroxide separator polypropylene power output that is output voltage 1.3 five volts this is the actual picture of the nickel metal hydride battery a commercially available nickel metal hydride battery so the second uh, headline construction how to construct this we have five points to explain here in a nickel metal hydride battery hydrogen in the form of a metal hydride acts as anodic active material and nickel oxy hydroxide acts as cathodic active material both these active materials are made up of a nickel grids in which it is filled with its respective active materials 
the electrolyte used is potassium hydroxide solution and the polypropylene is used as a separator that separates two electrodes and behaves as a medium for absorbing the electrolyte and the output voltage is 1.35 again have this diagram here you can see this compartment anodic compartment cathodic compartment both are nickel grids both are made up of nickel grids inside that respective active materials are filled like uh, metal hydride and nickel oxide hydroxide are filled in the respective compartment so this is what happens in the during the working here so negative electrode that is mh positive electrode that is nioh this is middle compartment is filled with electrolyte that is oh minus ions during charging during discharging so how the electrons are moving working when the battery is discharging and charging the following react reactions takes place at respective electrode that is following means uh, anode reaction is uh, oxidation cathode reaction is reduction at anode metal hydride accepts the hydroxide ion from the electrolyte and gives metal and water and it releases one electron it removes the electron at cathode reduction reaction occurs that is nickel oxide hydroxide accept the electron and water molecule and form hydroxide ion with the formation of a nickel hydroxide and therefore overall cell reaction can be summarized like this nickel oxide hydroxide plus mh gives metal and then nickel hydroxide so electrons and water gets cancelled out here applications used in the cellular phones and laptops used in emergency lights and power tools and in electrical vehicles these are used this is about today's class nickel metal hydroxide battery classification of battery and introduction to the battery